I've spent a lot of time in past years counseling Christians with problems. And I've come to the conclusion that there are limits to what can be accomplished by counseling. Sometimes I think it's more important to cast out the demons than to spend a lot of time counseling. But one conclusion I arrived at was at least 50% of Christians' problems are due to the fact that they've never repented. And I suggest if you are struggling with problems in your Christian experience, you better examine yourself whether you have really repented. Turn totally from everything displeasing to God and yielded yourself to God in unconditional surrender. And remember, repentance is the key to everything else. If you bypass repentance, you can never have true faith. And you can seek and call out for the blessings of God, but they'll never really come your way. Because the first condition is repentance. When John the Baptist came to prepare the way for Jesus, his message was repent. And when Jesus began to preach, his first public utterance was repent and believe the gospel. And the day of Pentecost, when the unconverted multitude said to Peter, what must we do? The first thing Peter said was, repent and let every one of you be, be baptized. To be baptized without being repentant is a waste of time. Paul told the Ephesian elders the message that he brought amongst them. He said, I did not fail to teach to you both publicly and in every house repentance toward God and faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ. Every one of you, myself included, to overcome or to be overcome. And the only thing powerful enough to overcome evil is good. And right at the end of the book of Revelation, in Revelation 21, verse 7, God himself speaks and says, He who overcomes will inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he will be my son. There are no promises of good in the New Testament or in the Bible to people who do not repent. Going to Jesus, not to me. I'll give you the word. You say the last thing. Lord Jesus, I'm sorry that I turned my back on you. I went my own way. Tonight I repent. I turn back to you, I submit myself to you, and I ask you to have your way in my life. Take me as I am, and make me what you want me to be. I want you to say those last words again. Take me as I am, and make me what you want me to be. In the name of Jesus.